Hello, I'm Creighton Cam, and I'm here to talk to you about a vehicle-based sandbox game made by Rare. This is Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Marketed as a sequel to the Nintendo 64 Banjo-Kazooie series, this game promised to deliver a new, original experience for players to enjoy. A world for gamers to explore using vehicles crafted from parts obtained throughout the story. This new experience, however, was not the long-awaited sequel fans were hoping for, leaving them understandably disappointed. Cars? Cars! But I'm not here to talk about how this game didn't stay true to its roots, nor even the single player for that matter. I'm here to talk about the online multiplayer experience. While there are multiplayer vehicle building games such as Scrap Mechanic, TerraTech, Brick Rigs, Robocraft, and Crossout, I feel these games don't really match the creative freedom Nuts and Bolts building system allows. You can bring your creations into a free play session to screw around with other players for countless hours or participate in match made events. It could be a race, a game of darts, golf, soccer, or even a deathmatch. These events require a vehicle that excels in traversing land, water, air, and sometimes all three. Designing the best vehicle to tackle each task is a fulfilling challenge. Each change affects the vehicle's performance. Allowing the rear wheels to steer the vehicle dramatically decreases the turning radius but at the cost of handling. Too much weight would slow the vehicle down or throw off its balance. Nuts and Bolts allows players to share blueprints with each other either by capturing the vehicle directly or sending it by gamertag. This game offers a variety of challenges and freedoms that are hard to find in games today. I hope to see another arcade style game that borrows many aspects from Nuts and Bolts. A game that allows friends to create vehicles together, ranging from absurd impossibilities to true-to-life detailed models. Then, use those vehicles to win challenges in any way they see fit. Goodbye.